I'm Renee Fry, and I am so glad that you are here. Today, I'm going to give my bathroom a refresh. It's a great size, it has great floors, but that wallpaper has got to go. I will be removing the wallpaper, and it's a tough job. A great tip is to get the wallpaper damp. I use a wet washcloth and wipe down the wallpaper a few times. This makes the wallpaper so much easier to remove. Next, I remove the cabinet doors and drawers and tape off the floor and anything that I don't want paint on. I'm painting the bathroom cabinet black. I use a small paintbrush to paint any smaller spaces and a small paint foam roller for the larger spaces. I paint the edges of the drawers first and then I use a foam roller for the drawer fronts. I found these great little risers to put under the doors to raise them up for easier painting. Then I roll on the paint. I use a paintbrush for any tight spaces. Next, I put the door hardware on a cardboard box. This is a great way to hold your hardware for spray painting. I am spray painting the door hardware a fresh bronze color. This is an easy and inexpensive way to update hardware. Now that the cabinet is completely dry, I start hanging the wallpaper. I measure from the ceiling to the floor and add three inches extra. I absolutely love this pattern. I lay the wallpaper out in a space big enough to measure and cut the full length of wallpaper. I start hanging my wallpaper next to the shower where the edge of the tile gives me a nice straight edge to line up my first piece of wallpaper. Then it's on to the next piece. I am careful to line up the pattern before cutting the next piece of wallpaper. I smooth the wallpaper out by using a damp washcloth, being careful to line up the pattern well. Then using a blade, I cut off any extra wallpaper at the ceiling and base moldings. It gets a bit tricky around the bathtub area. Now that the wallpaper is hung, it's time to add a beautiful new light fixture. It's so important to be sure that the power is off before working with electricity. Please be safe or call a professional. Now it's time to hang the vintage mirror and reattach the medicine cabinet. Next, I hang the towel rack behind the toilet. This is a great way to store towels and it looks beautiful too. And now for the hook shelf. This is a simple DIY project and perfect for hanging towels and bathrobes on. And the accessories are the final touch. the before and now look at it. What an amazing transformation in only 48 hours. This bathroom refresh has me all excited for my next project on 48 hour flip. <music> 